U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was in Israel for meetings with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his new governing partner for talks that were expected to address Israel's plans to annex parts of the West Bank. Pompeo landed in Tel Aviv early in the morning and proceeded directly to Jerusalem, receiving an exemption from Israel's mandatory two-week quarantine for arrivals due to the coronavirus outbreak. His visit to the first to Israel by any foreign official since January before the country largely shut its borders to halt the spread of the pandemic. Netanyahu and his new coalition partner, Blue and White Party leader Benny Gantz, postponed the swearing-in of their government until Thursday to accommodate Pompeo's visit. One of the key items on the agenda in Pompeo's talks with Netanyahu and Gantz was Israel's stated intention to annex parts of the West Bank, a move certain to enrich the Palestinians and much of the Arab world as well as many of Israel's Western allies. Ahead of the visit, Pompeo told the Israeli daily Israel Herb that the meeting was important enough to justify flying to Israel for face-to-face -face talks despite the pandemic that they would discuss efforts to keep Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons, the Trump administration's Mideast plan and efforts to combat the coronavirus. He declined to say whether the administration supports unilateral annexation by Israel, saying he was coming to hear Netanyahu and Gantz's perspectives on the matter. U.S. Ambassador David Friedman, an architect of the Trump administration's plan, has said Israel could begin annexing territory within weeks. Netanyahu and Gantz struck a power-sharing deal last month after three parliamentary elections over the past year resulted in settlement. Under the deal, Netanyahu would remain Prime Minister for the next 18 months even as he goes on trial on charges of fraud, accepting bribes and breach of trust. Afterwards, a year and a half, Gantz will serve as Prime Minister for 18 months. The agreement also stipulates that Netanyahu can advise plans to annex Israel's settlements in the West Bank starting 1st of July but that such a move must be coordinated with the U.S. while also taking regional stability and peace agreements into consideration.